today i am taking the topic pair of straight lines student in this section we will deal about the two straight lines and for those two straight lines what will be the equation in combined form in second degree form so combined equation of a pair of a straight lines passing through the origin so student here this is the equation ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 this is the combined equation of the pair of a straight line passing through the origin here the condition so that these two straight lines will be real is h square minus ab is greater than 0 why this condition we need and what will be the figure of the straight line whose equation is written in this form is it possible every time that this equation always represent a pair of a straight line or we need some condition so student here I am taking the figure you can see this is the x-axis y-axis and these are two lines passing through the origin now if we suppose the combined equation of these two lines this is suppose line 1 and this is suppose line 2 so if you take ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equal to 0 this is the equation now if you can factorize this equation in two linear factors then represent two straight lines so I am solving here for y see here you can write it by square plus 2hx into y plus ax square for y if you solve it y is equal to because it is a quadratic equation in terms of y so we can solve by using the quadratic formula minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a so from here student you can take 4 common because it's a 2 square so you can take 4 common and then it becomes 2 and that 2 and this 2 will get cancelled again after taking the common as well as you can take the x square common out of the root it becomes x so finally a student you will get minus h plus minus root under h square minus ab upon b into x after the simplification you will get this thing now you can see one time we can consider here minus h plus root under h square minus ab upon b into x and one time if we consider the minus sign it becomes minus h minus root under h square minus ab divided by b into x this is a linear equation because this whole thing is a constant this whole thing is a constant if that constant we can consider m then you can say y is equal to mx and this is in the form of y equal to mx plus c so this equation will represent a straight line but here the c is 0 here the c is 0 it means both the straight lines will pass through the origin hence this equation always represent a pair of a straight line passing through the origin that means these two now if a student equation of the line 1 is y is equal to m1x and equation of the line 2 is y is equal to m2x then what will be the combined equation of these pair of straight lines this will be y minus m1x into y minus m2x is equal to 0. So when you now open the bracket, when you open the bracket, you will get here y square minus 
m1 plus m2 into xy plus m1 m2 x square is equal to 0. This is the combined equation when we will individual equation of the straight line as y equal to m1x and y equal to m2x. So if the combined equation of l1 and l2 is given as ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. Then what will be the relationship between this m1, m2 and this a, h and b? To get this relation, we will write this equation in this form. That is, we will make it the coefficient of y square here 1. So, we will make here also the coefficient of y square as 1. So, we will divide the whole equation by b. So, if you divide by b, we will get here y square plus 2h by b x y plus a by b x square is equal to 0. And now we will compare this equation with this one because both equation represent the same pair of a straight line with same coefficient of y square as 1. It means the coefficient of all other like terms will be same. So if we compare we will get here m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 2h upon b and m1 into m2 is equal to we will get a upon b. So this is the relation and the student you have to remember that if the individual slopes of two straight lines are given as m1 and m2 then the relationship between m1 and m2 is m1 plus m2 equal to minus 2h upon b and m1 into m2 is a upon b. So now student the angle between the pair of straight lines whose combined equation is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. So if we take that theta be the angle between the pair of straight lines whose equation is given as this. You can see from here if we take the angle between these two as theta then in that case what will be the value of this theta so let us see this is the line one this is the line two if you write the equation of this line one as y is equal to m1 x and if you write the equation of this line two as y is equal to m2 x then easily you can find out the value of theta by using the formula tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 and you did this thing in straight line but here it is given the combined equation it is not written here m1 and m2 it is written a b and h so student we will use this relation to find the value of m1 minus m2 see here you have m1 into m2 it's okay it is given m1 m2 is equal to a by b now m1 plus m2 is written here minus 2h upon b so with the help of these two we'll find m1 minus m2 so now this m1 minus m2 can you write it root under m1 plus m2 whole square minus 4 m1 m2 whole divided by 1 plus m1 m2 and then we'll put the mod you have m1 plus m2 you have m1 into m2 you can substitute both of them so now here we will substitute m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 which is minus 2h upon b whole square minus 4 m1 m2 so it is a upon b 
divided by 1 plus m1 m2 so 1 plus a upon b so student now we will simplify you will get here root under 4 h square minus 4 a b upon b square whole divided by a plus b upon b so now after simplification finally you will get 2 into root under h square minus a b divided by a plus b and then mod so this will be the formula in terms of a b and h now student you can see this theta when it will be real when it will exist your answer will be when h square minus a b is greater than zero this is the main reason why we wrote h square minus a b greater than zero from here if you get tan theta is equal to this if h square minus a b is greater than zero then you will get some value of theta whatever the theta it will be 30 degree 60 degree or 1 degree or half degree whatever the value of theta but still you will get some real values of theta if h square minus a b is greater than 0 so you will get here if h square minus a b is greater than 0 then two real lines exist if h square minus a b is equal to 0 then see if h square minus a b equal to 0 then you will get the value of tan theta as 0 tan theta is 0 it means the theta is also equal to 0 and in that case the line becomes the same line so we'll write then lines are coincident line now if h square minus a b is less than 0 then in that case if h square minus a b is less than 0 then tan theta does not exist because it becomes root under negative then in that case lines are imaginary so you can say real lines does not exist point of intersection of these two lines because passing through the origin so it will be 0 comma 0 that is origin